Hello, my name is Jaleese. Welcome out everybody to my Project Power uh, movie review. This movie took place on Netflix. It's a superhero film. This stars Jamie Foxx, Joe Scorn Levitt, and a woman named uh, Dominique Fishback. Okay, yeah, that's right. <laughs> no offense. But still, this movie, Project Power, what was it about? Well, there's this pill that the government is using to experiment on people to get their power so they can make a lot of money and all that stuff. And what they do, they do what they did with the crack cocaine the situation. You know, the FBA, you know, the CIA distribute crack cocaine to the inner cities and, you know, people took the drugs and all that stuff. Same thing with power. It's the same exact thing as if they give them the pills, they get, each person gets different power so they can record and they analyze what this power is, what the power does, what's it good for and all that stuff. Basically, they do that. During this time, uh, the gr young girl named Dominique, she's struggling through school. She's trying to support her mother, who's going through some diabetes, and also her mother needs surgery. George Gordon Love is a cop character who's trying to stop the city from ha from all this shit from happening in the city, and he's trying to play fire with fire. Dominique, eh, I mean not Dominique, Robin, the character, she supplies George Gordon Love with the drugs in order for him to continue serving and protect as a cop and all that stuff. During this time, Jamie Foxx's character is looking for his daughter. He's trying to find the suppliers and all this stuff, so he finds he he gets connected to Dominique because you know she sells the drugs and all that stuff. So there's a lot of great interesting parts of this movie. I love George Gordon Levin's character. I think he's an interesting uh, character. I love uh, Jamie Foxx's character. Jamie Foxx's character was dark. He's a man who will go through any to get his daughter back. Uh, the girl that played Robin, very good. The girl could rap and all that stuff. And there's a lot of moving parts to this. Some people say there's a lot of social justice warriors shit right there. You know, like uh. The girl rapping and how she has kind of like stage fright in a sense. Like, there's this one scene where her teacher is trying to like, uh, uh get her to basically, uh, uh, like, hey, are you paying attention? Are you paying attention? Okay, like, what are you going to do in life? And she says, I'm going to rap. And then he said, if you could get a rap, I'll grade it. And she was saying like how, uh, in a speech, like how she's ranting on him. For his mediocre life and all that stuff. There's a lot of great moving parts. But I love how it shows the mindset of young people. And the mindset of older people and all this stuff. As Jamie Foxx character, a character once says. Uh, like, yeah, you ain't a kid no more. If you're dealing you're not a kid. And all that stuff. So I, I really enjoy that shit right there. This movie didn't uh, hold no punches. This movie has a lot of soul. A lot of funny moments. This movie was better than Captain Marvel. That soulless adaption. It to me it was Better than Shazam because Shazam, even I don't know why people love Shazam. That was the most overly predictable movie I've ever seen in my life. Good film. I enjoyed it. But again, the kids who said Shazam and you know, eh. but Project Power, different take kind of the superhero genre. A pill that does this, gives a person power, the government's behind all it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I love about Project Power, the movie. I enjoy, again, there was a lot of funny parts that I, I love that there's a certain scenes that I didn't, I didn't think I was going to see scene to scene to scene and not, you know, like, I couldn't predict the stuff. Shazam, I predicted, like, every single scene. Oh, he's going to go to school. He's going to get bullied. He's going to get the uh, suit on. I mean, he's going to get his Shazam. He's going to start recording about the stuff he could do. He's going to find his, uh, he's not, he's going to start to grow in love with his foster family and all this stuff. That shit. With Project Power, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't really, I never saw a trailer of it. I just went into it with an open mind. And what I saw was a plainly, surprisingly good film. Good action scenes. Great uh, picture, in my opinion. I really did enjoy this film. I would give this a solid B. This is a B, B minus superhero film. It didn't, like, again, it surprised the shit out of me on how good it was, how good the acting was, and all this stuff. And overall, the story made sense. And all that stuff. There's not like there's not a lot of stuff I can say that there was something missing. That something was inconsistent with his story. But to me, Project Power was a feel fun good time uh, when I watched it on Netflix, and I would definitely recommend checking it out. I mean, it's a lot better than Bloodshot, in my opinion. You know, the one with Vin Diesel. Everyone says oh, it was gonna be great. Nah, not with Vin Diesel acting. It's not. It's gonna be stereotypical shit. But to me, Project Power. A welcome surprise. I enjoyed the shit. I actually enjoyed the shit out of this movie. I actually go back to watch this movie. This was a pretty dang good superhero film. Not the best. I don't think there's going to be a great sequel and all this stuff. I think this was a standalone. And I'm happy with it. Again, a lot of great moments of this entire uh, film. So to me, Project Power, good film. B, check it out, everybody. Let me know what y'all think. Do you think I gave Project Power to a higher of a grade? Do you think it's worse, you think it's better, you think it's right, you think it's wrong, what do you personally agree, 
or disagree about Project Power the movie. Let me know what y'all think of one name. Shalisa, I offered everybody. Bye-bye.